Inside, residents are allowed back into their home after being evacuated over the threat of possible explosives. Authorities officially clearing that scene an hour ago. Late last night, one of our reporters on scene captured that large boom you just heard on camera. Investigators saying that was not an explosion. 8 News reporter Rachel Keller is live near Durwood Crescent with the latest on the investigation. Rachel, good evening. Well, new this evening, the home has officially been cleared by EOD officials and first responders are now working to clear the scene. Throughout the day, investigators have been going inside of the home and they've been collecting items inside. This morning, Henrico police escorting 20 families who live near Durwood Crescent at Ridgetop Road back to their homes to get essentials before telling them to evacuate again. Matt Rayback and his family tells us they're staying at a hotel and live across the street from the home under investigation. We've seen uh, people coming and leaving that house. Uh, we've seen suspicious activity happening at that house. Rayback says it was only a matter of time. Neighbors alerting 8 News to cameras on the property and a Google Street view shows several. Yesterday, everything kind of came to a head and the police uh, took action. And Rico Police, Fire, Virginia State Police, the ATF, FBI, and Explosive Ordinance Disposal Officers working to review hazardous or possibly explosive evidence inside the residence. Neighbors like Brenda Lindsay and her grandson hearing a loud boom. He was startled. Did you, you know, did you hear that? And I said, yeah, I know. And he was fighting because he wasn't sure what was going on. Police say the sound was caused by EOD technicians. All of us were just, we couldn't believe what was going on. The incident stemming from a call on Wednesday prompting officers to respond to South Mill Drive to investigate a domestic assault. The caller. 21 year old Sydney Crow. Crow was arrested on outstanding warrants, including drug possession. And 52 year old Michael Hardy arrested for alleged strangulation and assault against a family member, both having ties to the home in question, with Hardy being the owner. Officers executed a search warrant and found suspicious materials. We've had small instances happen. It's not a perfect area, but nothing, nothing ever like this. Now, I've stepped out of the shot as we get a closer look at the home in question. Both Crow and Hardy are still being held in jail without bond, and police are still looking into their relationship. Police say that residents will be able to return back to their homes by 6 this evening. Stay with 8 News for updates. Live in Henrico County, Rachel Keller, 8 News.